Welcome to the Lazy Fluency Podcast, where we have casual conversations switching between English and Japanese so that you can learn from and with us along the way. I'm Joey. And I'm Yami. And the topic of the day is. But before we get into that, make sure to like, subscribe, follow, and or drop a review on whatever platform you're listening on. We appreciate the support. And with that out of the way. Yay! I basically had a,、uh, I think we had a conversation about this and decided that it should be a topic because、um, it's pretty interesting. So, yeah, these are the top 30、uh, most poten- or potential. They're all nominated. None of them have been decided to be the,、um, what would you call it, the topic of the year, or sorry, the, the、um, trending word of the year. But every year for Japan, they have one. Do you know what last year's was, Ayami? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember either. Maybe, probably, if I had to guess, probably something to do with the coronavirus. If, if not that, the previous、mm. one probably did. Probably.、Um, but yeah, so instead of going through all 30 nominations,、uh, I narrowed it down to 11, which is unsatisfying, but instead of 10, but two of them are、uh, what I call、uh, honorable mentions, and then the other nine are. Ones that、uh, I don't know, I'm more interested in talking about. So we'll jump right in because there's quite a lot. So the two honorable mentions that we ha- have, or I put on this list, these are my personal honorable mentions, are the、uh, Ayami, do you want to read them? You'll see, can you see them here? They're listed. Okay. The first one. It's my first one. Warui and yasu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the, the bad value of the, of the yen at the moment.、Mm. And the only reason that this is an honorable mention is because we had a whole episode where we kind of prim- talked a lot about the devaluate, devaluing or depreciating of the yen. So、um, that's pretty much the only, only reason that I don't really want to talk as much about it. Yeah, the yen、mm-hmm. went down. It's like 30, what, since 1998, this is the lowest the yen has ever been,、uh, at least according to. 24 years. This,、uh. Yeah. And so I think that even recently hit like the worst in 32 years as well.、Um, but yeah, and then the other, the other honorable mention is can you read it? Metaverse. Yeah, this is another way, like the metaverse. We had a whole episode about the metaverse. We've talked enough about the metaverse.、Uh, mm-hmm. It is also on this list of top 30.、Uh, and with that out of the way, the other nine we will actually talk more about.、Um, Yeah, about what they mean, what they represent about、uh, current Japan, or maybe trends that are happening and things of that nature. So, the, these are not in any particular order. They're just、uh, out of the 30, I chose nine that I thought were interesting to talk about. So, the first one Audiobook. Do you have any thoughts about?、Uh, so, this is audiobook. Do you have any、yeah. thoughts? Audiobooks have been huge in America for a while, but. Why do you think that it's made this new word,、uh, like trending word、uh, of 2022 nomination? Uh, what are those called? Yeah, it's like self help. Exactly. So, so. Yeah. So, so. 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 ああなんかなんとかかつで、なんていうのその、それをするライフスタイルみたいな感じ。Oh, that's interesting. そうそうそう okay. But yeah, no, pers- from a personal level, it's, I find it funny because yeah, I, I did for like the first time in a long time, because、uh, I have some fr-、uh, Japanese friends, obviously,、um, and no, none of them ever talked about listening to audiobooks or podcasts or anything of that sort. And、uh, I recommended a friend to do so, and then he got like really, really into it. Um,、mm. like going, yeah, because he had like a four hour commute every day from his、uh-huh. house to his、uh, school or two hours 
each way. So yeah, yeah I can totally see it. And what I, I think, oh, I haven't talked about it on the podcast, but I'm a super big uh, fan of Japanese audiobooks. Their quality is insane um, because Japan has like the best voice actors in the world because their industry is massive. Uh, and because of that, um, the audiobooks are also equally awesome. Um, for those in the audiobooks uh, who want to listen to Japanese audiobooks, uh, my favorite one that I've listened to is Kagami no Kojo, which I've not talked about, but I mean, at some point I might talk about more in length. Uh, but yeah, it's it's awesome. Like there's background music, there's background folly uh, where people are mo uh, moving around. You can hear that. Like everybody mm -hmm. has their own voice actor. The book has the book has like 20 something characters and they all have their own voice actor. Um, uh, yeah, no, it, it's basically, yeah, exactly. It's like they, it's like they paid for a full movie, but then lost the footage. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so, oh my gosh, it's so good. But yeah, I, I can't remember, what's it called in English? I don't remember. Uh, the Palace of, I don't know, Mirrors. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. Or a window, power? Kagami no Kojo. So it's ah, like the so the castle. I don't know how they translated that. Um, but yeah, highly recommend it. Do you have any last thoughts? Because we have, we have, uh, I mean, a decent amount of these to get through. So, Ma, do you, wait, have you listened to an audiobook? Oh no, you listen to audiobooks too. Also, and you started during the pandemic as well. Yeah, I was listening to it before 2020. Before 2020. うん、多分ね。3、4年前から聞いてた気がする。3、4年、うん、多分。オッケー、オッケー。うん。で、まあ、私はまあ、ポッドキャスト聞くんだけど。あの、なんだっけ。アーディボーだ、オーディボー。で
メインのリーダーたちが、もう全員男で、しかも、年取ってる男の人やから、まあ、もうちょっと、ね、他の国みたいに、女性を取り入れようみたいな働きがあって、まあ、今多分、ちょっとずつ、女の人は増やしてるけど、でもまだ、男の人の方が全然多いみたいな。Yeah. 印象だな。Uh, this also refers to,、um, like, 飲み会 or like any situation where guys are in, in it's, or it's an area of field that primarily has guys. I don't know if I'm assuming this seems like it's used primarily in a negative context, but as I actually have not、um, heard of this word before used in Japanese,、uh, I'm not entirely sure. And you haven't either. So, Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, a lot of these said like it says like new words, or,、uh, but I think trending words is more accurate because some of these words I've definitely heard before.、Um, but、uh, this year they popped off.、Uh, there, there's definitely some ups up here that you haven't read yet,、um, which I'm very interested to know if you have any idea what, what it's about. But yeah, the next word. Ah, cow pants. This is face p a n t s I, I, this, is, this word is hilarious. I think in English, we,、uh, our equivalent is like, what's it called? Face underwear? Or so, so. There, there's another word. It's like it's something to that equivalent、uh, that we, that's actually where people use. I can't remember. I haven't, oh, no, face diapers. There we go. Face diapers. Ah, diapers. Yeah. And yeah, in English, it's face diaper.、Um, face diaper. Referring to a mask.、Um, I don't want to say the word that is, starts with C too much because last time we did. Uh, Spotify gave us a content warning for misinformation.、Uh, hopefully,、uh-huh. we haven't already gotten that. Yeah, just a little tag. It, no, not, not that we have misinformation, but just to be cautious about misinformation. It's because of Joe Rogan. It doesn't have anything to do with our podcast, but it's just like、mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with that. So,、um, But yeah, wearing a mask is recalled more politely. face... Actually, no, it's the same thing. Yeah, because it's not, it's ponsu as in Japanese, right? So it is like face underwear. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So, so, di- so. <laughs> I feel like diapers are a little. I think diapers Diaper, are a little funnier, but. but... So, ne. Ma omuts, kao omuts ni naru no kana, so so. Diaper. Yeah. Yeah. Ma. Do you hear people using this? Yeah. Oh, can I na? Amma, oh, can I? Kiko ne, I see kakuri sareta se kato stir barane. Amma ne, se ke no koto ne. ちょっと<笑>。そうそうそう。まあでも、要するに、oh, go ahead. うん。あ、ごめん。えっと、まあ日本だとさ、結構もうみんなマスクつけてて、なんかつけてないと思う。本当に、そのパンツ履いてないみたいに、ちょっと恥ずかしくて、他の人に見られるっていうね、雰囲気はあるから、その顔パンツっていう言葉がたね、生まれたっていうのがね。Yeah, that... That's what I thought was actually really clever about this, or more very, I don't even know, yeah, clever slash Japanese y about this.、Uh, face diapers was a way to make fun of people, which it might still be, actually, sort of maybe with Kao Pansu. I haven't had, heard it used,、um, but it's, it's the fact that it's being described as it,、um, it's just as embarrassing as if you weren't wearing、um, uh, underwear, if you're not wearing a、mm. mask in public, as opposed to the US where it's More of a derogatory、uh, word used to people who are wearing masks.、Um, mm. So it's, it's similar, but it seems the nuance is a little different.、Um, but yeah, it's still funny.、Ah, also, America、oh, go ahead. America is a mask. Yeah, like calling people who call them face divers are against masks. Ah, so it's a nuance. Yeah. That's what I find is interesting about this. Japan basically did the same thing, but just took it the other way.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the thing I find interesting about this list so far is I think a lot of this might have to do like, how much do you think these words are stemming from the internet or like Twitter or some equivalent?、Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, when, in terms of words now, I wonder how much they actually are like evaluating.、Um, Were, like, I, I don't know how else they would evaluate it, but、um, like, I don't know. It feels like social media might be the main driver for determining what words are being used nowadays. まあそうね絶対その選ぶときにあ今年の流行語を選ぶときにそのどれだけはそのワードがまあリツイートだのまああのハッシュタグつけられたのとか多分カウントしてるカウントそうしてるから。Yeah. 
、まあ、NS、SNS は絶対関係あると思う。Yeah, okay. The next word. 知らんけど。はい。で、まあ、知らんけどっていうのはね、まあ、これね、私はこれもね、うん、よく聞くし、まあ、たまに使うのかなわかんないけど。あ、そう、わかんないけどとかね、そう。この、つけることで、<笑>なんていうの確実に断定することを避けるっていうね。そう。で、責任を回避する。<笑>例えばなんだろう。Yeah. Uh... Well, this is great. This is actually a perfect reference to the last video we released on the main channel, which is like the tatemae no honto no imi. Ah, that's k i n d of a t a t e m a e Which is just like, you could ask, I find, I find this hilarious. I actually used this word, I didn't realize it was. Um, a special or new word because it, it's a kansai, apparently. It's kansai, and I, I studied abroad in Kyoto. So I w- would already say shiran kido. And、uh, yeah, I don't know. I find this funny. But yeah, it's basically you ask him, like, what's your opinion on global warming? And then you, then you can give an opinion and say, like, oh, it's like it's a really difficult situation, shiran kido. <laughs> and then by adding the shiran kido, you have now taken away all, like, all responsibility about your opinion, and any consequences of that are now gone.、Mm. Uh, so, ne, ato, de, na, machigatte rka mo shire nai jongho yu toki ni, mo si jibun ga machigatte temo, kono shiran kido ti yu koto de, so no, nanti no, yuru sare yu mi tena. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So. So, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I use this, you use this. This one actually probably is spoken. Uh, I mean, we hear this one spoken. The other ones, we have not heard them thus far. I mean, obviously, Metaverse, and、um, I haven't heard anybody say、uh, the e n y a s u but I mean, people talk about it, but not like as a phrase.、Mm, so, so, so. Yeah. Okay. The、uh, next word Spy Family. So, this one, I had to talk about it. Obviously, I am、mm. is not the anime person. I am the anime person.、Uh, and、uh, I just find it hilarious that an anime is in contention for being. Do, do, what do you think the chances are that this gets nominated as the,、uh, the most,、um, what's it called, a trending word or top word of、uh, 2022? Ah. Moshi, w h a t s あれ去年とか一昨年ノミネートされたのかなそれぐらいの影響。Think so. ああ、じゃあそれぐらいの影響力なかったら、まあ、あれじゃない ?1 位にはなれないんじゃない<笑> I, ?I don't know. The、まあ、thing about this is this, this hits the children. 鬼滅の刃 although popular, did not seem primarily targeted towards. I mean,、uh, Spy Family is not targeted towards children, but it's like definitely family. Like anybody can watch Spy Family. I mean, by the name. And I was watching a video from a Japanese YouTuber called Yuta, which I found very interesting, discussing how、um, the word, the word like chichi and haha are evolving in usage、uh, from Japanese,、uh, what's it called, people because of this anime, apparently,、um, oh. where chichi and haha are normally used to refer to your own parents when we're talking to somebody else. Uh, but、mm. in this anime, the main the girl, Anya,、uh, refers to her parents as Chichi and Haha、uh, to, when speaking to them. And、uh, it supposedly、mm. is so cute that other children are also picking up and、um, using this term. So, so、uh, it's、yeah. like, it's 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 like, <laughs> no, yeah, I have no be- beef with it. I think,、uh, I don't know, like,、uh, san ka san, to me, already sounded、uh, par- particularly formal, anyways. So, oh,、um, well, yeah, it is, but I'm just saying, like,、uh, Japanese、ね、politeness was already polite. Like,、uh, uh, I-, I don't mind bringing it. What's it called? Like, I don't mind bringing the very politeness down a, down a bit. Just、uh, okay. <laughs> to take, take a little. I, I, I've had friends before refer to their parents as mother and father, and it definitely comes off really weird, though. So I will say that in, in English, mother. Don't, mother. Why are you doing that, mother? 
<laughs> yeah, no, seriously. British, it, 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 British marketing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. The next one. Also, yeah, good anime. If you're not watching Spy Family, second season's airing right now. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay uh yeah this one i want i definitely want to know if you've heard of this i'd never heard of this before i or this product so yeah can you read the next word smartphone shoulder this is a de- oh go ahead I, I attached the picture because i mean i'm not sure if you've seen it before i had not seen it before okay you have seen it confirmed あ、あのね、結構みんな、うん、出かけた時ね、使ってる人多いと思う。Everybody? Oh, okay, no. Yeah, AV バリじゃないけど、ま、使ってる人み、うん、結構見るよ。Do okay. you have one? あ、私は持ってない。けど、私は iPad バージョンのね、あの、やつは持ってるけど。けど、ま、スマホショルダー、スマホショルダーってちょっと、なんか間違ってる名前だと思うね。yeah i mean in in, a, in effect it's sort of similar uh, so for those people who don't know what smartphone shoulder is it's like a a purse except it's only large enough to carry a smartphone and like some credit card okay imagine putting a wallet that is the size of a phone like has the dimensions of a phone on a strap that is what is what is this? Yeah, smartphone shoulder is. It seems super inconvenient. This why not just put it in your pocket? What ah. about this is helpful? あ、じゃない。ま、ちょっとなんていうのこのスマートフォンだけ入れるやつもあるし、でもスマートフォンとあとちょっとま、なんだろう、コインとかちっちゃいもの入れられるやつ、ポケットもついてるやつもあるじ
、えー、アフタヌーンティーがあるから、まあそこでちょっとお茶しましょう、みたいなね。初めて聞いたよ、この。Oh, go ahead.、うん、oh, oh, the n o o n k a t s u n o o n k a t s u 初めて聞いた。But you've heard of afternoon tea? あ、そうだよ。それはアフタヌーンティーはもっと前からある。Okay.、うん、What I will say is I do, I want to put some pushback on it saying, People aren't able to travel abroad because of the、uh, word that I don't want to mention because of Spotify、um, being annoying.、Um, and the reason is Japan, Japanese people could go anywhere during that thing. And nobody could go to Japan. So why would Japan,、uh-huh. Japanese people act like they were prohibited from going somewhere? Only yeah, during the,、yeah. like, I guess, maybe the first year? Well, first, it's a k i n ファーストと、まあ、セカンドイヤーもあの日本旅行ダメだっていうそのなんか緊急事態宣言とかなんとかでさあの違う県に移動しないようにみたいなのはあったから。This is the 2022 list we're talking about. 2022. Not, not 2021. Not 2020. 2022. Japan's been able to travel wherever they want in 2022. Maybe they hear いい other people not being able to go to Japan and then they think いい it's them too. いい <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you, you went to you one time. You did afternoon tea. So、ね、at least we can confirm Halloween that there was.、ね、yeah. Didn't you do it one other time? <laughs> Didn't you do it? Then it's going to be Sankai. いやでも1個はホテルじゃなかった。ただのカフェだった。で、もう1個はまあホテル。そう。Does it, it says ホテルなど。まあ、などだね。そう。だからカフェでもやってる。<笑> yeah. Okay.、Um, just to keep it moving, we have two more.、Uh, what's the next one? リス,んリスキング、uh, It's リスキリング。あ、ごめん。リスキリングだ。ごめんなさい。リスキリング。Yeah, so、リスキリング。Um, ah, this, ah, reskilling, eh? Yeah. Ha, ha.、Uh, yeah, basically means,、uh, what is, there is a word for this in English, but basically getting on a, so if you spent、uh, time in a certain occup- occupation, it's about developing new skills and moving on to another occupation.、Um, I, I mainly thought this one was interesting because I feel like it's happening all around the world with specifically, and is, it even mentions here as an, IT,、um, as in like the being thing that people reskill to,、um, where regardless of whatever they did or do, whatever, it's like, okay, just I don't know for this one it's saying that, but and at least in the US, it's like, oh, it doesn't matter what you majored in or minored in, just take a coding boot camp.、Uh, mm. And、uh, yeah, and so the fact that it became an actual、uh, popular enough, I haven't heard it before, and it sounds like you haven't either, because、mm-hmm. apparently none of these words people use, but I mean, it's happening. It's definitely happening. Reskilling. Do you know anybody、right. like that personally in,、uh, in Japan who was doing something and then they just instead, instead decided to like, do a coding boot camp or the equivalent or whatever and is now doing coding? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, then this is, this is lies. And the last lie <laughs> on this、uh, list. Lookism. Lookism? This is actually. No, lookism. Yeah, it's, I think the same word in English. Yeah, lookism. Ah, and everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's just making it just discrimination based on how somebody looks.、Uh, all factors how, of how somebody looks.、Um, have you. So that makes me think you haven't heard of this used. I think I've heard this used once in Japanese, actually. Lookism. Ah, eh. Menkui? メンクイじゃない。メンクイはまあちょっと違うけど。まあ要するに、外見至上主義って書いてて、まあ、あれだね、人を見た目で判断するとか、あの、見た目が悪いからダメみたいな、そういう、ね。Yeah. 意味です。Uh, I mean, I believe, I believe generally these things are talking about Uh, traits that cannot be changed of somebody's, but I mean, also they're probably talking about all traits in general.、Um, mm. I definitely don't think, like, yeah, I mean, that's probably the context. I doubt it's a context of somebody comes to work with their shirt off or something, and then they're like, hey, what are you doing? 
you can't just be half naked in 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 work or anything like that it's probably more of a um like japan has really high beauty standards east asia has really high beauty standards um ah, so I'm a, yeah pretty sure in terms of your, yeah but i'm assuming it's used in the context of saying like that we need to stop lookism if i had to guess yeah but uh, yeah those are the uh 11 words that uh, i chose to talk about and so what, what do you guys think which are your favorite words out of these you can also look up online like best words of what what is the japanese do you call go and then it should show up. So yeah, uh, tell us which words you think, or which word you think is best of year, or yeah, what you want to win and the uh, what's it, the gold medal, or the great, the grand prize. Yeah, thank you. We're back. Today, two news. news. But today, very news. One. うん。家の真っ直ぐにある木が倒れてしまいました。風のせいでね。That's <笑> なんて言うか、あっという間に私がすごく慣れてきたものが消えるなんてちょっとなんていうか日本日本のあの物の悪いを感じた物の悪いの話したことあると思うんですがあのつまりあの物事のあの消えやすさやすさというかな儚さいや儚さああそれをうんそう元
Ah, uh, mir miru kana. Because you're you're a monster, never never monster. That's why. Ma, so da kido, hoka no riu ga aru. Ano vinyl house no, nanti yuka, tobira no shita ni aru, chotto tsukima ga atta. De, sono tsukima ga sugoku mendo kusakatta no de, ma, kaze ga hairu, hairu na, da kara. それで、うん、あのギャップフィルーというなんかフォームみたいなものを使わなくちゃいけなかった、うん、使わなくちゃいけなかったけどあの手にあの汚れてはいけないということを知らなかったのであの全然気をつけなくてで今の時点でガソリンを使わないとこのネバネバな消えられないみたい It's kind of dangerous. Like, yeah, that's all. But, my, you'll take it. You'll take it. I'll 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 take It's hard to wash gasoline、uh, after you remove the neva neva, right? Like with water, how do you wash gasoline? Ah, towel? Eh? And then if, if that remains on your hands, you can't like cook for a while. Towel is not going to be able to do it. Towel is not going to be able to do it. まあ、それ他ないと思う。Yeah. 気をつけます。Yeah. で、あの、あゆみは、そろそろ、最後になるでしょう。Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, like I said in the last episode, I am in an exam week, and I have two exams left, and one big exam. Well, actually, two big exams. And, My regular school exams are、uh, well, only two. And actually, I have one exam tomorrow, which is I'm not so prepared for that yet. But I'm recording this podcast. So we'll see. But then, the two exams are not going to be able to do it. So, I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah, for us.、Uh, actually, well, 国国 mm, actually, I still have regular exams.、Uh, ah, but yeah, much less. Yeah. <laughs> I was a long four years. Wow. I, I can't believe I'm like, I've done this. Yeah. So, 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 Yeah, so, so. Oh, I'm so happy. So, I'm so happy. 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 ニホングでのタイトルは何ザ、何ザ。The Giving Tree? あ、The Giving。与える。The Giving 何与える気わかんないけど。与える気与える気。<笑>たぶんカタカナになってる。<笑>そう思う。<笑>そういう可能性が結構高い。The Giving Tree。<笑> the Giving Tree。で、うん。話もたぶんカタカナ化されてる。Yeah, One day, <laughs> the little boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> まあ、とりあえず、あのコメントでよろしく。Yep. And we're back with the final section, which means you should send an email to lazyfluency at gmail.com and send us a question, language related and or otherwise.、Um, and this week, we have two comments slash questions.、Um, We will get, jump right into it because this question is very interesting.、Uh, from a double Matt. Matt. Yeah, double Matt. It's a double Matt episode, everyone. So 
uh, get ready. But um, I've shortened this question just a little bit uh, and not actually because it was too long, but because it contained spoilers for a banger movie. It, it contained very minor spoilers, um, but just because I'm very I, I'm very sensitive to spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie, I didn't want to include any spoilers more than necessary. It's just the very beginning of a premise, very, very, very beginning of the premise of a film. So uh, yeah, bear with me on that. Um, anyways, the comment reads as follows. I was watching Akira Kurosawa's film Ikiru, and it reminded me of an interesting cultural difference, difference on which I would love to hear your takes. The main character goes to a clinic complaining of stomach pain, and his medical tests reveal that it's terminal cancer. But the doctor lies to him, saying it's just a mild ulcer. I was curious about this lie, so I read a paper published in 2010 that reports only 30% of Japanese patients were told that they have terminal cancer, and 67% 60 of Japanese families felt satisfied that the diagnosis, diagnosis was withheld from them. Also mentioned is that Japanese physicians will often prescribe medication with the labels removed and will routinely withhold the reasons for and results of lab work or medical tests. Ayami, as someone who will soro soro isha ni naru hito toshite, how do you feel about this practice? Does it still go on? Maybe I'm being too presumptive, but I bet Joey, as a Westerner, uh, a proud Westerner, <laughs> really disagrees with doctors treating their patient this way. If you're interested in discussing this, I would love to hear your thoughts. Hmm. Hey, ma, nanka, ima, yutte kureta no wa, ma, sono, kanja ga, ma, maki gan. であるとしたときに、その医者はその患者に伝えなくて、その薬とか、まあ、なんか、どういう病態なのかを隠して、患者の家族だけに伝えるってことだよね。He didn't, I mean, I, must, I believe it's told to their families,、um, but it does say what, like, 67% of families felt satisfied that the diagno diagnosis was withheld from them. That means the families didn't know. Ah, family も know. Ah, 知らないんだ Do not know. It says only 30% were told that they have terminal cancer and 67% of families felt satisfied that the diag. Oh, no, it could be withheld from them as in being the. Okay, yeah. The families were, may or may not have been informed. Would you know about that? Were the family. If the families aren't informed, I think this is crazy. えっとね、これはね、あの、その時と場合によるんだけど、その、まず、あの、一つ目は、絶対患者の、患者が大事なのね。例えば、患者が知りたい。患者が知りたくない。例えば、患者が、どんな、あの、ね、その、死の宣告だったとしても、知りたかったらそれは伝えるし、患者が、その、なんて言うんだろう。あの、医師として、あ、医師って、あの、自分の、あの、考えね。で、あの、知りたくなかったら、医者は言っちゃいけない。なんか、そこはまず確認取らなくちゃいけなくて。で、患者がもし、家族には知らせないでほしいって言ったら、家,家族には言っちゃいけない。So, is, is that your understanding of it as like a somebody who's trained to become a doctor, or is that you're like you're Your like, thoughts on it? Because I'm wondering about.、Oh, if the, the, it, okay. So you, so you think in these cases, the. Okay, okay. I guess with this movie. So in, in the movie, the, the main character doesn't learn about his stomach cancer from the doctor. So.、Mm -hmm. it, so and in, in the movie, just because this is the opening scene, he, he doesn't state that he doesn't want to have that information、oh, withheld from him. これね黒沢のムービーって結構前、昔じゃん。で、yeah. で、なんか今、そのウェブサイトで見たんだけど、数十年前の日本だと、患者に対して癌の告知を行わないことが当たり前だったんだって。で、家族にだけ、oh, okay. そうそう、えー、伝えるっていうことが、まあ、多かったんだって。でも、今は、患者本人に言うことが一般的になっている。まあ、でも、okay. その、そう。患者さんが、例えば、なんていうのちょっと結構センシティブとか、まあ落ち込みやすいとか、そういう人だったら、医者の裁量で、まあその医者の判断で、あの、伝えるとか伝えないとかっていうのは自分、医者自身が考えないといけないんだって
No, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what does kangai nai to ikenai mean? He, he can say that he doesn't want to tell the person that they're dying? That's whack. That's, okay. I think so. that's whack. I, I'm totally, I think like if the, the person made some, maybe there's some procedure early on saying, hey, you're coming for this type of appointment before we give you results. In, in the case of um, uh, negative or fatal results, are you okay with us m- m- concealing the information or something like that? Um, so then I'm general. like, mm. yeah, yeah. But I'm just wondering if you're saying that if it's up to the, um, basically the give a given doctor and he's like, yeah, this person gets depressed when I tell him bad news. Uh, so I'm not going to tell him that I think is whack. <laughs> he's, li- he's a little bit of a downer. <laughs> I wish he died with more grace. あるらしいよ。本当にあるらしいんだよ、なんか。うん、やっぱりね。結構ショックの人は本当にショックになっちゃうから、それでもう逆にね、あの病気は気からっていうようにさ、もっと精神状態も悪くなってね。あの、Y
使えるときに工夫しながら伝えるんだよ。I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I give them the, giving them percentages instead. Like, it's always a percentage, right? So, like,、um, yeah. I think they're just trying to avoid bad, bad news in the first place. Uh, uh, when they're very certain. But yeah,、uh, uh, yeah, great question. I just want to go to the other one so we can at least tackle it、um, for a little、mm-hmm. bit.、Um, but yeah, really awesome, awesome question.、Um, mm-hmm. And I probably could have made a main topic, or if we not, we, yeah, you know, we might cover medical differences or something at some point. But yeah, great.、Mm-hmm. The next one, our other Matt, the、uh, Shock Ox, awesome、uh, commenter.、Uh, two parts to the question one Halloween related, one high school related. So quickly, I'll hit the Halloween because we have to follow up on our Halloween. It was Halloween last week. I'm one of those boring people who don't get all the way into Halloween. Dressing up in candy is pretty fun, though. I loved trick or treating as a kid and was basically always some kind of Star Wars thing, or the time I was a vampire. This year is the first time I'm home owning and actually giving out candy, so I have a big responsibility. Do I traumatize the kids about trick or treating and electric fences?、Uh, <laughs> as for the eye patch,、uh, I'll do that if I know I'm about to turn off the lights or go into a bright room. I just open up one eye to use the bathroom, and then once I turn off the lights, I open up my other eye so I can see back to my bed. It's, I've been called weird, but it helps me, so I'll just forever be a pirate, I guess.、Uh, that is hilarious. <laughs> well, he, so he just. Wait, does he. I can't tell if he's wearing an eye patch or he's saying he just opens one eye. He just looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. You know what? I'll try. I'll tr- well, you know what? Are you getting my confirmation? I'll try that. <laughs>、um, I don't know how helpful that will be, but you know, I'll give it a shot. And、I'll, I guess we'll report back if,、uh, if I actually get results on it.、Um, and as for the, as for the <laughs> Halloween, I, I'm curious to know what you decided to do. Um, I think I, I mean, just had a test and、uh, I didn't really. I just made some pumpkin stuff, pumpkin pie, and some other stuff. So,、uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah, the second part of your question, just because we're getting close to the end of here, is also to how high school can be the peak of your life and also be super stressful. Everything sucks and high school sucks less. Also, a lot of people in the US <laughs> peak in high school as well. A lot of people、oh. goof off around in high school. I had a lot of fun in high school, and I don't think I've ever had that much free time since. And then a lot of people go straight to work in sucky places for the rest of their lives. Thankfully, I didn't do that. I still think there is room for growth where I am, and I'm thankful that I've already dwarfed high school experiences. A lot of people don't get to do that, and it's a little tragic.、Mm. Do you want to summarize、oh, that? High school.、Huh? Yeah. No, oh no, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, there's a meme about like football players、uh, very co- commonly having high school be their peak, as well as like the jock group, which is like the cool kid group. Ah.、Um, yeah.、Mm. Well, they'd be like, well, it's somebody who's like 35, kind of pot belly, and be like, hey, and talking to their son, be like, hey, dude, I. You sh- here's a picture of like whatever the girl I was with, or like、uh, talking to a kid, being like、uh, basically putting all their anger at them for being bad at football and being like, when I was in high school, I was top of my class in football <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> and it was,、um, I dated a cheerleader. <laughs> yeah. Son, why aren't you having any girlfriends at the. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> doing- That's not 35, hopefully. Yeah.、Um, But yeah, I mean, generally speaking,、uh, yeah. yeah, that is a bummer and、uh, is a downer. Uh, and uh, I definitely don't hope that for anybody. So、uh, do not,、uh, I, I have faith in yourself that high school will not be your peak.、Um, but、uh, yeah, I mean, for some people, it will be. I mean, the happiest I ever was when I was studying abroad in Japan. That was my. That was my. In, yeah.、Uh, my the f- junior year of、uh, college.、Uh-huh. And then it was followed by one of my st- most stressful. No, the most stressful year of my life, my senior year. So、uh, it was、uh-huh. a nice contrast.、Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, okay, well, on that positive note, we'll end the episode. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the comments, guys. Hi, I'm Zayma.
That bell means we reached the end of today's episode. Thanks for joining us in another lazy conversation towards fluency. If you have any language related questions and or just looking for general advice, send an email to lazyfluency at gmail.com and we might respond in the next episode. Also, make sure to check out our podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and more. We'd appreciate the support. This has been Joey. And Yummy. Signing off. Jenny. Jenny.